Shalom. Call Halayim Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rukagadash. All praises, glory, and honor unto the Most High Yahweh in the name Bashim Yahushai, our Lord and Savior, who the who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahushai Bashim in the name of the Holy Spirit Rukagadash. That's who we give all praises, glory, and honor unto. Okay. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, as the scriptures commanded us to. And shalom to the whole full elect, the one third of the nation of Israel, the 144,000 you elect men that are about to be sealed. Shalom to you. All right, this is another video I'm going to do here. Um, just piggybacking off of what our apostle, our elder apostle Gabar did here about a cautionary tale, okay? And the spirit actually has it that I, I knew this guy, not personally, but, you know, I did talk to him a lot. <laughs> Why? Uh, I just want to confirm everything the apostle was saying. The guy was everywhere, you know. He, I talked to him a lot. He was always talking to me, hitting me up. It's very strange times, you know. And, and just speaking like he's an authority on everything, all right. So I wanted to bring out a few scriptures because that's a telltale sign of a spirit you're not supposed to be in, okay. To be really always want to be at the forefront, always trying to slide in and make yourself something more that you are. Okay? And our apostles, they're our main examples of how to be. They're super humble. Every I met them personally and stayed with them, our elders and our apostles at Great Millstone. And they were so humble and, and righteous men that they're blameless. You can't say anything negative about them, man. Eh? And so that's why people go into slanders, okay? That's why they try to make things up and they try to twist the words out of their mouths to make it seem like they have some sort of evil, wicked intent, which they don't, man. They have a righteous intent, which is to do what? To save themselves of the coming destruction, all the while doing the work of the Heavenly Father, okay? So I want to just get out some scriptures here. I'm going to start with Ecclesiastes. <clears throat> okay, about just the spirit we're supposed to be in. Ecclesiastes 5 and 2. I'll start at 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Heavenly Father, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. And that is always referring to when you're around the men of the Lord, the house of the Messiah, okay? Especially when you're around your elders, okay? Starting with the men that are above you in your camps. Okay, when you go to a camp, if you're not part of a camp. And then even more so when you're around the apostles. Okay, and, and, and the, the elders that are that have been doing the work with them for decades. Okay? You're supposed to keep thy foot, meaning you're supposed to watch your step. You're supposed to be um, um, aware of your surroundings, meaning, hey... I'm, I'm by great men here, okay? Yeah, but yet, they, they don't feel that way about themselves, which shows you the, the correct spirit to be in. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Heavenly Father, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil. Yeah, because this guy, Adam Asha Ba'ala, which <laughs> the elder, the, our apostle Gobar said, you know, it's just a, a complicated name. Um, for a complicated guy. He didn't know he was doing evil. He thought he was the the next in line. Okay? He thought he was doing good. He thought he was just, everything's good, okay. I'm unstoppable. Okay? I'm the head. Okay? I got, I got, I could hit up anybody at any moment. I could be on the line with the elders and apostles like that and just, boom, have, have things go down for my favor. That's not a way to, that's not a way to be thinking. Verse 2. Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Heavenly Father. For the Most High is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore let thy words be few. And this is something that we all have problems with, myself included. That's why it's good to, to bring out these scriptures and read them and go back into the book and understand like, okay, I need to stop. I need to chill. And be not rash with thy mouth. Okay? And let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything for the Most High. And when you do that, the Most High usually brings judgment upon you, okay? 
Because anytime you're being hasty around other men of the Lord, men that believe in Yahweh Shem Yahushai concerning the camp, and you're making a hasty, rash decision, you're uttering things that you shouldn't be, you should be holding your peace and letting the Spirit handle things, the Most High you always more than likely brings pure judgment on that person. And I'm a witness to it. I've seen it happen all the time. Okay? Hey, I've got judged for it. You know? Whether it be uh, suspended, okay, uh, demoted, or uh, even straight up judged by the Heavenly Father. You know, you get in a car accident, all right? You get sick, okay? The people around you bug out. It happens, man. But you got to go back to figure out, okay, what am I doing wrong? And you get right, okay? It says, Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Heavenly Father. For the Most High is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. For a dream cometh through the multitude of business, and a fool's voice is known by multitude of words. <laughs> a fool's voice is known by multitude of words. Yeah, a fool, he's going to keep on babbling and talking. His videos is going to be an endless testimonial. Every video is an endless testimonial. All right. Uh, the next thing you know, he's talking about dreams. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get that. Oh, this is what's gonna happen to me. Oh, this is for me. That that. You're just showing yourself as a fool, right? But for a dream coming through the multitude of business, in the multitude of business, you oh you got all these side businesses, side gigs. Oh, I'm making money here. I'm making money there. I'm making money there. Then you start getting that that dream, and dreams what lift up fools, as the scriptures say. Okay, so don't be rash with thy mouth. Or and don't be all up in everybody's business. Because that's what this uh, guy Element D was doing, okay? He was up in everybody's business, all right? Uh, it's all good. He was up in everybody's business. you already seen it. He was on this guy's line, that guy's line. If any time there was judgment happening or uh, a quarrel within the camp, he had to hear about it. Hey, call me. Talk to me. What's going on in the camp? And now he was doing that to our camp, the San Francisco Bay Area camp. So I can only imagine all the other camps closer to him, Mississippi, okay, uh, camps in the Midwest, okay. So don't be rash. Don't don't be talking a lot. Oh, it's a lot, it's a lot. This thing's bugging out. Let me get a few more scriptures. This will be a short lesson. Proverbs 10 and 19. In the multitude of words... In the multitude of words, there wanteth not sin. But he that refraineth his lips is wise. In the multitude of words, there wanteth not sin. But he that refraineth his lips is wise. The tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many. But fools die for want of wisdom. That's right. So the, in the multitude of words, you keep talking, it's going to bring upon you what? Things that are sinful. You're going to say things that you, you're going to slip up. Okay, yeah, there's one that slippeth in word, but not in this heart. But that's why it says, hey, the heart of the wicked is little worth. Because sometimes it, you, you're, the wickedness of your mind expresses itself through your words. And when when... And uh, so, <clears throat> and when you refrain your, he that refraineth his lips, you're wise. You you shut down, okay. Hey, it says a wise man he hideth his uh he hideth his folly. Because yeah, all of us are in the world, not in the world, but not of the world. Salakia, we're not of the world, but we we're here in America in Babylon. Okay, we got we got go to work. Okay. We got to take care of our of our of our families, our responsibilities. We got to take care of each other, the brotherhood. All right. So, but he that refrains his lip is wise. So you got to shut down and just be wise sometimes. That's what that's a wise thing to do. The tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. And this guy element, he was a fool. He wanted all this wisdom. He got all this wisdom. 
he pretended. You say one thing, he got something deeper and, and, and more complex than you. When the, every, when the apostles and elders told you, keep it simple, make it simple, keep it simple. Hey, if you uh, play any type high level sport, okay, one of the main things your coach would tell you is that, hey, keep it simple. Because Jake, especially Jake, I'm talking about soccer here, basketball. Jake always wants to make it more complicated. He's all about uh, uh, pushing the envelope, so to speak. Being fancy, doing too much, playing the extra pass. When just keep it simple, man. Hit the ball, kick the ball, pass the ball. Move it to this side, move it to that side. Don't be playing with it. And that's how it is with this word. Just get out there, do the work. Sit down, make the video. Explain to the brother your issue. Talk it out. Bring out the scriptures. Okay? Look back. Look back and see if you're right. Look back and see if he's right. Okay? And then the Spirit's going to handle things. Keep it simple. Okay? It says, The tongue of the just is... Oh, it's a lot. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. So the lips of the righteous, the brothers that watch these videos, they get fed, man. They get fed with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And what do they end up doing? They put it to action. Because you're not supposed to just be watching videos, leaving comments on the videos. Oh, I love the video. Beautiful video. But you ain't doing shit throughout the week, man. You ain't doing shit on the weekends. You ain't doing the work. You ain't at the camp. You ain't supporting the brotherhood. You're one of them guys, man. You better get right. Okay? Get your ass in order. Proverbs 17 and 27. Actually... I'll just do that one. Proverbs 17 and 27. He that hath knowledge spareth his words. And a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. And he that shutteth his lips is estimated, esteemed a man of understanding. So this man, element seven, this is the Pasach, all right? This is a super holy time, a fearful time, a time of judgment. He's over there sliding right in with the, our apostles and elders. And then here it is. You got men, elders, above him, okay, in the spirit, that have been out there laboring with the apostles for decades. They ain't trying to slide up in there, man. They're trying to fall back. They're trying to be... Why? Because they're wise spirit. They, they, they are excellent, of an excellent spirit, okay? Our elders, our elders and, and apostles at Grand Millstone are of an excellent spirit. So he that hath knowledge spareth his words. You got to spare your words. You got to shut it down. Keep it simple. Okay? Myself. I myself. Okay? That's why you, my videos, they don't go all deep. Okay? I'm not going to tell you my day to day. Oh, yeah. This just happened to me. Oh, man. this I just got into this. Oh, I just met this guy. No, man. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to bring out the scriptures. And you brothers should do the same. He that hath knowledge spareth his words, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. And he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. All right? So you could be a bro. You feel you feel like, oh, I, don't, I ain't shit. I don't know nothing. But you're actually being wise because you, you're shutting your mouth, man. But if you're a guy that just showed up, Okay, you you know a little something. You've been through something. You flapping at the gums. Everyone's going to look at you, man. You don't want to be that guy, okay? You want to be the humble brother. You want to be righteous, right? That's the whole point of this thing, is getting right. That's the whole point of this truth. Uh, last scripture. James 1 and 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, Slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of the Heavenly Father. And this guy, Element 7D, he got a lot of blood on his hands, man. A lot, uh, a lot of things that weren't mentioned in the videos was that this guy, Element 7D, he was casting out guys left and right. Casting dudes out. Hey, he's, he's ain't right. Boom, boom, boom. Just, just, get, just an executor. All right? And the guys that do that, guys that just are so quick and wrathful, you ain't right. You're out of here. Get out of here. Don't come to camp. 
That's real wicked, man. The scriptures tell you to be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of the heavenly Father. All right, hey, because our words can get wrathful. You can say you say how you really feel sometimes. Sometimes you gotta stop because how you really feel is a demon. <laughs> a lot of times, man. Like I want to say how I really feel. No, nah, those are demons. Those are demons on you, trying to make you fall out, trying to make you slip up. All right, you want to be righteous. You want to defeat them. Okay. So with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Kakadash, and Lord willing, I get some more videos up. Until next time, 